Hi Dressed Up Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Ariana Grande from her Don't Call Me Angel music video. So let's get started. To draw Ariana, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. A little bit more narrower. So I'm going to come to the other side, about right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. There, that's the basic shape you're trying to draw. Just a nice curve at the bottom, a little bit narrower. So from there, let's come back to where you started and we're gonna draw a circle really close to the edge. And same thing on the other side. Let's bring this up a little bit more. About right there. And really close to the edge once again. And let's come in there and make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. And then now that we have the eyes in, let's come in here and give Ariana some gorgeous lashes. So I'm just going to come out to the side, going to pop out a curve, thicken it, and maybe another one at the bottom, and same thing over here. And then let's come up and draw her brow. So I'm going to go above her eye, so about right here and just draw a slight arc. Same thing over here. Right there. Okay, so now for her mouth, I'm going to draw lips on her. I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> but if you don't wanna draw lips, you can just draw a curve. So here we go. I'm gonna come about right here and draw a slight curve. So if you want to keep it like that, go ahead and I'm just going to cap it off. And if you want to add lips, come to the top right here really lightly and draw a curve and then the bottom curve. There. <laughs> Hope you guys love how that turned out. We'll see if it works or not. Okay, so then from there, let's come and draw the rest of her face. I'm just going to imagine an oval. So come about say right here right in the center give myself a point and from there I'm going to start with a curve that comes up it comes all the way back down to where we started same thing over here so we're going to start to draw the two strands of hair that's um, on the side of her face so let's come right to the center once again just draw a slight line and I'm going to start down here first so I'm going to bring this curve down and I'm just gonna go all the way down. Nice long strand, curve it out. And it doesn't really matter, so it's not too long because um, it's just gonna cover her shoulders. So then let's come up here and we're just gonna thicken that strand. So in here, it's always harder with a Sharpie because everything is so dark there. So same thing over here. So this strand, I'm gonna have it kind of come flowing out to the side just to give it some movement. So same thing, just come out and thicken it. So I got the two strands in. Now let's come back up here 
kind of imagine her face is continuing so kind of about right here same thing on the other side and we're just going to draw a curve to finish the top of her head and right here would be like the top there and that looks really weird right now right <laughs> all come together okay so then from there we're going to come to the center again in this area we're going to draw the little band that she uses to put up her ponytail and then from there let's come to the top above this and we're just going to draw a slight curve above it and it kind of aims downwards so then come right here, we're just going to draw a curve that comes out, just to indicate her hair comes out of this band. And you can just start to bring this down really close to her head on both sides. So now I'm going to come right here and give her a neck and start her body. So right in the center, and let's come down for her shoulders. And about right there, I'll start to bring it in. So this is going to overlap, come down. Okay, so we have her shoulders in. Then from there, let's come say about right here where her armpits would be on both sides. Give myself a point and I'm going to start to draw a slight angle line down. So then now I have a better idea where to put her um, outfit. So from there, let's start and bring a curve to the center. This bodice that she's wearing is connected. And then let's bring this down a little bit more. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect it right here. So then we can go ahead and draw some details. So right in the center, let's draw a center. And then we're going to connect this side right here. A curve and another curve. And then there's some more lines right here on the sides. Okay, so then from there, let's go ahead and start her skirt. So I'm going to come out, just pop it out a little bit on both sides. And continue to bring this down more. So let's bring down her skirt. It's got a wrap skirt. So about right there, I'll stop and then come to the side right here. And I'm going to separate the section. So there's going to be one curve that comes down towards the center and curves out. So then there's another curve that comes out from here. So then now I can basically go ahead and connect it. So about right there. Go ahead and connect my skirt. So bring this down, same area, and connect. If you want, you can draw some crease details, light lines. Oops. Okay, so then from there, let's continue her legs. So from the center part right here, I'm going to basically just draw an angle line that comes out. And we're going to start to draw her thighs. And same thing over here. So come about right here. Just going to draw an angle line out. And about right there, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off because she's wearing these white high thigh high boots. So same thing over here. So now I'm going to start to draw her boots and it's all going to angle in the same um, way. So let's come right here and I'm just going to wiggle a little bit after I pop it out. And then let's work on this one. Start to bring it down. Angling it, getting thinner as we go down. And you can wiggle a little bit more as you come to the bottom where the ankles are. And then let's start to draw the feet area. So flare it out a tiny bit and then go ahead and connect it with a curve. 
and you can come in here and thicken the bottom and same thing over here so wiggle wiggle a tiny bit same thing here and then start to bring this angle down just like the other side and getting thinner as we go and about right here you can wiggle a little bit and once again flare it out so I'm just going to drag this across so I know approximately where to end and connect so once again you can come in here and thicken the bottom and add some crease lines there got her boots in right okay so then finally let's draw her hands so i'm making it really close to her body just because there's so much going on so just to make it a little bit simpler let's bring this down kind of tucked in a slight bit and then comes out and about in this area i'm going to start to put her hands so let's come out a little bit angle and right here let's give her thumb and just tuck it in to simplify it. So same thing over here. Just tuck it in. And it comes down and then flare it out a little bit. And so it's going to all end about right there. Same area. Just give her her thumb. And her fingers. And tuck it in there okay so finally now oh i almost forgot <laughs> she has this gorgeous necklace that she's wearing let's not forget that okay and then now her wings so i'm going to pop them out so i'm going to come say right here where her shoulders are so let's draw a curve and we're going to imagine this going through so about right there i'm going to bring it out and flare it out and then now let's start to draw the tips. And I'm just basically drawing a bunch of tips that are gonna come back into here. So they're gonna to start to progress and get smaller as I bring them in. Okay, so we have that side in, now the bottom. So this is where it's gonna come in, now it's gonna flare out. And we're gonna come out about right here. And then start to bring it in once again. And same thing. I'm gonna bring it all the way up and it's gonna get slightly smaller as we go up. Okay, so now the other side. I don't really care for it to be exactly the same, um, but I, my goal is to make it about the same size. So let's come here, so kind of the same area, and let's start to pop it out just like the other side. And start to bring it up. So just step back and take a look and see approximate. Look at my camera here. So, about right there. We'll bring it in. And once again, do the same thing and aim towards approximately this area. So I'm giving myself a point. there so approximate and then let's draw the bottom so come out once again and we're going to flare it out so it's all going to end about right here in this area and then once again bring it in and one more there 
Okay, then you can come in here for some details if you like. Just maybe three. And same thing over here. So I'll just pop it up about right here for some details. Okay, so now we're done with the wings and then let's finish the hair. So I'm just going to bring this down and it's going to fall through. So I'm just going to tuck it in right here, make it easier. So same thing over here. Come through and then once again, just tuck it in. So there, I hope you love this new Ariana Grande from her Don't Call Me Angel music video. I know this drawing is a little bit more complicated, but I hope I made it um, easy for you to follow along and inspires you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.